One of the big milestones that comes around at six months is the introduction of solid foods. Solid foods is one of those things we all tend to get really intimidated over, almost like breastfeeding or potty training. At Bracey's six month checkup, the doctor recommended the following diet. He said that first thing in the morning, I should give breast milk, then put him down for a nap. After he wakes up from the nap, he should have breast milk and then he should have lunch, which should be a puree with chicken and different green vegetables and carrots, a whole panoply of vegetables. And he did not recommend doing one food at a time. After the afternoon breast milk session, he recommended that Bracey have a quarter of a pear, a banana, and an apple that we pureed and put together. And at night that Bracey have some corn or rice cereal mixed with breast milk or formula. And this is the diet that I've been following and it's been working really, really well. If your family has a history of allergies, you might want to introduce one new food at a time for several days, up to three days, so that you make sure your baby doesn't have an allergic reaction. Once you've made sure that your baby is good with all these foods, you can then start to mix them and come up with new combinations, mixing in chicken and different types of vegetables into the same puree. That said, many experts now recommend a more diverse array of foods from the get-go. My biggest tip when it comes to solids is to give the milk first. I had a lot of trouble trying to feed hungry babies solids before they'd had their milk. And I found that when I do the milk feeding first and then give the couple spoonfuls or small amount of the solids, that my baby was much more willing to try the food, much calmer, and that he ate the food anyway. I also think this is a great thing to do because during the first 12 months, your baby's primary source of nutrition is breast milk or formula. So this way you're ensuring that your baby is getting what they need. Music